Welcome back to channel everyone, Skitch on Wheels here, out again on the Royal Enfield Himalayan. Uh, this week is uh, the first annual, hopefully it's annual, Smoky Mountain Bike Week. And uh, they have an ADV ride today. Um, it's going to start at Teleco Plains, which I've been to a bunch, and go about three and a half hours. Uh, I'm just kind of excited to follow the trip, see where it goes. I don't know how much will be on road, how much will be off road, um, but we'll follow and we'll see. I don't know how many people to expect to be there. Um, I know that, uh, don't know if there'll be any other Himalayans there or not, but we will see. But yeah, it should be a good day, fun day, beautiful weather right now, probably about 82, something like that. So, quite a few bikes pulling in now. There wasn't to begin with, but we're here. Let's take a look and see. So, excited about today. A group of about 10 more than us, they headed out five minutes ahead of us. They were the fast group. Um, a lot of KTM adventurers, a lot of BMWs, um, kind of a lot of enduro bikes. They're going to be running about 50 mile an hour on gravel road and that's not where I'm at. So my goal today is to keep up with everybody. I don't want anybody to look back and say, yeah, that Himalayan just ain't cutting it. Um, don't want that. I'm gonna hang with the big boys today. Gotta be on my game. Gotta be on the throttle. See what this is like. Let's give some space. There we go. It really does make a difference to stand up on this stuff. I don't want to push too hard here, folks in front of me. It's pretty impressive that they're riding two up. Oh, they just took that big old rock. <laughs> Nice little bump here. Ooh, that was a big one. Let's get out of this stuff. I can't get out of it. Boy, this will wear you out. Always looking for the right line. Wow, we're straight down here. Yeah, that's a good fall. What was that that just tinged off my helmet? I bet we get some nice views up here. Probably shouldn't have packed. Uh oh. This is hard stuff.
All right, we've been in these woods now for probably about 45 minutes, uh, maybe an hour. Not a bad road. There's some technical stuff that I haven't been in on the Himalayan before uh, with a lot of washed out areas. Um, but yeah, the Himalayan did great. Gotta clean things up here. Hope GoPros work dusty. I do not know where I am. Really nice. Oh, we're stopping up here. I think this is our group. I really don't know where we are, where we're going, but that's kind of par for the course for me. Yeah, something tells me we're going to be going a little bit faster right now. I mean, we're running 40 mile an hour gravel road. I didn't think we were going to do this. <laughs> Help. Keeping up with the GS 1100. Or is it a 1200? I don't know. Ow! I'm taking his rocks though. <laughs> yeah. Definitely taking rocks off that BMW in front of me. This is crazy. I can't see a thing. Whoa! Whoa, that was a big old bump I just hit. Alright, first time for everything. Bottomed out the front shock on the Himalayan. Probably not hard to do, but I hadn't done it yet. They're not going to leave the Himalayan. No, sir. How about that? Fun. That was great. I liked it. Liked it a lot. If we, if we go this way, there's some water crossing. They're not very deep, but one of them's real slick. Uh-huh. And you gotta go real slow. Are you 
good with that? Or you? Yeah, if I fall down, y'all pick me up, right? Yeah. <laughs> when we come to the first tough one that's got a slick rock, you watch a few people go. Okay. They're drag their feet. The well, front wheel's gonna move like that. Gotcha. Water's not very deep. Just let it move. Keep your feet down. Keep your feet down. All right. Gotcha. Kind of okay. okay. Sounds good. Go real slow. Okay. We'll do that. So I'm a little bit nervous here. We've got a water crossing. If this is the one that is the Teleco Plains on the tat, um, yeah, it can be a little tricky from what I understand. So I'm glad I got enough people here to help me. If, it, if I get wet, I don't care. It's all about figuring out how to get through things on this bike, uh, my skill level, all that. So, uh, you know, number one, don't get hurt. Number two, try to push myself to a, a, a different level of riding. And today's done that. So it's been a win-win day for me. I'm thinking this could be the tat. Back on the tat, this side, and then I bet it come will come out at Teleco. We'll find out. All right, I just got stung by something just massive, just flew into my suit. I don't know what it was. If it flew there, been there for a while, but. That thing was just eating at my stomach. I had to pull over, I'm sorry. The guys had to slow down and wait, but something was there just, just giving me a ton of pain. It still hurts, but whatever it was, I got rid of it. This is the crossing. Oh no. All right, let's go Himalayan. Oh shoot. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> That's the first time for me. All right, so this is the Trans America Trail. Look at, I'm all fogged up now. So I am back on the tat again, and look at this crap. Some the water crossings on the Trans America Trail. Um, did that one back there, that was the hardest one. Uh, I had no idea I was gonna be on the tat today, so who knows. Um, yeah, this has been great. 
Got a Harley Davidson in front of me. I'm gonna watch how they go. Wow, made it. We got gotcha. you. Oh, I'll make sure we don't have, don't get slipped here. <laughs> All right, we'll get you out. One, two, three. This is not a light bike, is it? All righty. Back on the tat. Oh, look, we got another. We get water again. Yes, we do. I gotta be able to see though. Okay. I'm fogging up the helmet. I'm sweating. I'm out of breath. I've been through more water right now than I ever have. Ah, oh, Nehemi keeps on going. Yeah, the guy in front just plowed through that one water crossing on the right side, the deep side, just like nothing. Yeah, so we're back on the tat. Um, Trans-American Trail. This one's going to be a lot longer ride though. This is all a Teleco. Those are the water crossings that Teleco's known for on the Trans-American Trail. That rock formation crossing is seen in a lot of videos. Um, glad I had someone here to tell me how to get through it because I probably, I probably went, went full bore just like sped through that thing and been in a lot of trouble. Washed out and fallen on the rocks. Ooh, this is big. Ooh. Yeah, that guy that fell on the GS310. Um, surprisingly, that's a cool bike, but man, that thing was heavy. I was surprised. I'm telling you, this bike, second gear will do everything. It will power out of those steep uphill climbs. It'll go a decent amount of speed for me. All right, headed out of Teleco, done with the ride. Uh, good probably three hours, four hour ride. 80% um, of it was off road. The bike is a filthy mess. Um, yeah. All right, let's wrap this video up. Dusty, dirty Himalayan. I don't want to always make this a review video. Uh, I sure don't, but today, the Hemi and I spent some time on the TAT, the Trans-America Trail again. Uh, this time a little more difficult section. We had three water crossings. Didn't even know I was headed out there today. Um, just kind of happened on it with a group of riders. Um, the Hemi played well with the big boys today. The BMW GSs, the KTMs, um, the Pan America, Pan America, Panamera, uh, Harley Davidson. So, so I feel like this bike 
suits my riding style as far as my abilities. Um, you know, I can't put a BMW through the paces and do everything it's supposed to do. I just, I'm not there yet. Um, so, but this bike did everything I asked of it today. There's two things I would fix. One of them is on me. The other one is on the bike. I need to raise the handlebars. They just got to go up because I spent a lot of time standing up today and it was uncomfortable leaning over, leaning forward. You know, if it was an inch, two inches taller, I think that would have been perfect. Uh, the second thing which is on me is I got to get some riding boots. You know, I'm riding in Harley Davidson boots. Um, you know, yeah, never supposed to be off road. Uh, I stand up on the pegs a lot on this. I don't stand up on my Harley. Um, you know, if you saw me doing that, that'd kind of be goofy. But I need to get some riding boots that have a really solid bottom so when I stand up, I don't feel it on the ball of my foot there. Um, but other than that, new tires definitely, but it did okay. I harp on the tires a lot, but yeah, it did okay. Um, we'll get some 50-50 off-road, on-road tires the next time. Uh, but yeah, I had a good time with this bike. Um, you know, it, uh, it did the job. It did the job. So, uh, really satisfied with today's ride. A worn out, dusty, dirty, gringy, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I didn't fall, so that's a good thing. Um, could have I fallen? Uh, there's a couple times. Yeah, I probably could have. Uh, I saved it. Don't know how, but I did. So, uh, let's just move on next video all right everybody thanks for watching uh if you don't mind do me a favor hit the subscribe button leave some comments uh give me a thumbs up if you liked it hang around we got another episode of one more thing with zoe Did you like that? Yeah. What'd you think of that one? I thought I didn't eat before it. That's what I think. <laughs> that was a good one. So he's fallen into the trap of merchandising by Dollywood. Don't fall into the trap. Don't fall into the trap, Zoe. Don't do it, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy anything, Zoe.